You know, five years is a long time to do anything consistently, and for me, putting it in terms of like, I've been doing YouTube for half a decade, for some reason really just kind of, I don't know, puts a different ring on it and makes me just realize how long I've been doing this. But I actually made my channel in September of 2014 and uploaded a couple of videos, but then I stopped. I had the recording software to make videos, and just as a lot of you know, one day I ran across a nice non-typical over on Logger's Point here in the Hunter Classic and called it in, decided to make a video, and for whatever reason, and I'm so glad I did, I just wanted to stick to it. I kind of always wanted to, I guess, be a YouTuber or at least kind of upload YouTube content as a hobby. Because it always seemed really cool to me, but I don't know. Five years ago, if you would have told me that I would have YouTube as my job, I would have met my girlfriend through the community that would form around the channel, and quite honestly would have one of the most amazing gaming communities I've ever seen or been a part of, I would have probably just laughed and not believed you. Like, it just seems so bizarre to me. And I was watching my first uh, video in this format, my first year on YouTube, and it was kind of cool to see the changes. For one, I think I had a much more, like, northeastern accent than I do now, so I don't know if it was, like, through interactions with other people, I kind of, like, picked up other accents. I think that is a thing, and it's probably kind of, I don't know, molded my own accent into a little more of a Midwestern accent. I think that's a thing that I can pick up on. Obviously, I sounded younger. I mean, when I really started this, I was a high school student. I was finishing up my junior year, and here we are now. <laughs> Dropped out of college, made it my job, and I love it. So as traditions go, we have to sit here at the Bear Barrel on Redfeather Falls and just kind of talk about everything. It's always a fun thing to do. And you know, I thought that I always did this video from this particular Bear Barrel in this tree stand. But actually, I did do one of them from Vatabois. So it's not a complete five year tradition just yet. But I thought it was cool. I'm pretty sure it's this exact barrel setup and tree stand setup that I even did the first year video on, which just seems insane to me, the fact that I, like, have had this same setup in this game for at least five years. I don't know. I just think that's really cool, and I think it speaks to the longevity of this game, the Hunter Classic, because a lot of games change and change a lot over the course of five years, and of course the Hunter has as well, but the fact that it's been so consistent is cool. Now, when I do these videos, I don't do a whole lot of talking about what's going on in the game, because I usually like to sort of talk about everything. But real quick, the wind blows that way, and that bear will spook if I don't put on Zen Eliminator. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of go over everything, as I usually do. Um, a lot of you guys have probably never seen these, like, kind of yearly milestone videos. And I don't know, I really like to do them, and it's kind of a... A weird sentimental thing, looking back and remembering everything. So I have had to go back to, like, remember the numbers, but it's something I started doing from the very first, like, one year on YouTube thing. And it's the, like, subscriber totals, which I actually mentioned this last year. It's not something I pay as much attention to now as I used to, but specifically for these videos, I do uh, check on it and make sure I know where everything is, so... If I can ever get this guy to stop for just half a second. Just so I can concentrate for a moment. So as I mentioned, I watched that one year on YouTube video. And I believe the exact number after a year was 751 subscribers. And then the numbers are a lot less exact. So after two years, it was somewhere in the area of 4,600. And it was at that point that I was still in school. After two years, I've been just basically graduating as a senior in high school. And then three years was 23,000, so I guess that would have been the end of my first year of college. I think I have a, I must have a year backwards here because I'm pretty sure I dropped out. Yeah, I dropped out between my second and third year. So I would have been dropped out already by the time we got to 23,000 in May of, I guess, 2018. Last year we were at 78,500 and this year as we sit, 
over 155,000. Like, the growth has always amazed me. It's something, as I said, I pay attention to a lot less now, and it doesn't mean I care any less about, like, the channel or about the individuals that have subscribed or anything like that. I think, at least to me, what it means is I'm more focused on, I don't know, making good content and, like, just in general, trying to enjoy, like, the actual community aspect of the game and all that stuff a lot more than some, you know, number that, at the end of the day, really doesn't necessarily represent everything about YouTube. Obviously, you know, everybody pays attention to subscriber counts and all that, but I don't know. I like that that's not a super important thing to me anymore, and it used to be. I used to check it every single day, and now you could ask me on any given day where we're at, and if I haven't checked in the last couple of days, then I'm really not going to have a great close estimate. But, you know, I just remember, like, when I started out with this, and for several years, it was only ever meant to be, like, a fun thing. I saw other, you know, YouTubers uploading content to this platform, and I just thought that was cool. I wanted to be able to share, like, my gaming experiences at the beginning just through the Hunter Classic, like, with other people. I thought that was such a cool concept. And for it to evolve into what it has become and into this full-time job for me and everything I could ever want or dream of as far as a job or a career goes is just insane. But I really do love it, and this was something I mentioned as well. Uh, I believe it would have been in the four-year video. I try to I try to watch them every year and, like, remember some of the stuff that I've talked about because I think it's important to bring some of that back up because it also kind of helps me realize, like, how I've grown through this stuff. And I think that's cool. And actually, while I'm thinking about it, I've always called this, like, the YouTube journey or YouTube adventure. And that goes back to what I was saying, how it was always meant to just be, like, a fun hobby. It was never really going to be a thing that's a job. And I actually think that's quite important. Uh, a lot of people talk about, like, wanting to be a YouTuber, wanting to be a streamer and all that stuff. I think if you're approaching it at, from that angle, where you just want to do it for fun and you just want to share those experiences with other people. I think that's a really good, at least foundation for success on this platform because I, I do really believe that if you're coming at this with the idea that you want to make money off it and you want it to be strictly a business, I think there's such a key element missing there of like genuine, I don't know, your genuine personality and everything. I think can get cast aside a bit. So I, I really think that's important. I think that's something that, I don't know, I'm glad that that was the mentality I approached this with. And who knows what could be different if it wasn't, but I'm just glad that that's kind of how it was for me uh, starting out. And I don't know. Like I said, it's cool that it's evolved from this thing where I was uploading like twice a week. My upload schedule actually used to be Tuesdays and Thursdays, I believe, but it was Tuesdays, Tuesdays and Saturdays for a while, and then Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. I had a bunch of different schedules, but going from that to every day, the only difference uh, would be there's a Twitch stream now. But the rest of the days, there's some amount of content here on YouTube, which is pretty cool. But um, there was something I was getting at a minute ago. I'm trying to remember exactly where I was going with my train of thought but I just think like in general I'm just really grateful for everything that I've you know managed to have come my way as far as like the great community that I mentioned uh, the fact that I met my girlfriend and everything through the community I, I mean I will say we actually talked a bit about this on stream yesterday I never dreamed for one I'd have a girlfriend that number one calls me Flinter but she she knew me as that going in but also just like was a part of the community and enjoyed the same game that I enjoy and all that stuff. Like, that's really cool. But I was kind of talking about how I always go back and watch my previous videos from this to kind of remember some of the stuff that I wanted to bring up. And I was saying about how, like, I really do, like, enjoy and love doing this as a job and, like, getting to wake up every day and this is what I get to do for a living. It's just so cool, but that was what I went to college for was 
computer science and programming and one of the things I just loved was like the idea of creating and making something new like from scratch and that's what I get to do with streams with videos with you know even the real life hunting stuff um making a video out of like all this footage you record over the course of a week that's one of my favorite things to do now and I really cannot wait for hunting season again like that's another thing that has come from this like going back to what I started with if you would have told me five years ago that I'm self-filming videos that I'm putting on my channel and there's tens of thousands of views on every one I think the lowest number of views is probably around 20,000 again I just would have laughed like it's insane to me I I remember being three or four years old and watching I believe it was Whitetail Madness maybe season three it's a dreary outdoors uh, thing from way back in maybe 2000 or even the late 90s and I thought like that's what I want to do I want to like hunt and film my hunts for a living and to some degree I'm doing exactly that with the self filming now like through meat hunters and through uploading those videos to this channel but even still over the course of the last five years to some degree with the hunter and the hunter call of the wild that's kind of what I've gotten to do yes through a game but similar and I don't know I just I thought of that at one point I don't know how long ago but I think that's cool that even before I started self filming and all that in some aspect I kind of got to do that which I started like kind of having as a dream gosh like 15 years before I ever uploaded a video I don't know it's just insane but like insane in a good way and you know, I'll also just randomly mention because I'm thinking of it. I don't usually edit these videos, but I'm planning on doing a little bit of editing just to keep the flow a little smoother. Because I know I already lost my train of thought once and had to sit there and think about it for a minute. I think it's just going to make life a lot easier for everybody involved. But, yeah, I don't know. The biggest thing that I, I think I'm taking from everything and like reflecting on those previous videos and really like thinking back to the early days of doing this... I'm just incredibly grateful for all of you guys and everything that you've done for me, even if it's like as simple as watching one video at one point. Maybe this is your first video of mine you're ever watching. It makes a big difference and it's made a big difference for me. Like I, man, I'm, I'm actually losing track of how long ago it's been. It's to the point where this is just what I do and I love it, but I guess it'll be almost three years ago more than two and a half years ago at this point which still isn't all that long ago but I was a college student that had no idea what I wanted to do with my life I was basically at a point where I did not want to continue my education because I just didn't feel like that's what I wanted to do with the rest of my life I didn't want to get further into debt I didn't want to put in all this work for a degree that I didn't feel like I was going to use and YouTube was kind of that one thing that I always had and it was my long shot but it worked out and like like I said I'm just so incredibly grateful for you guys and for everything for real like that you've done for me you might not realize it but it's a lot and I really do appreciate it and yeah I think it's just a really cool thing that we live in an era where that's the kind of thing that can be done through this incredible platform called YouTube, which, sure, it has its flaws, but I don't know. I have to love it. It's literally changed and made my life, so I don't think I can say too much negative about it. But I think kind of something that's rather cool is, I want to say five years is the longest I've really ever done anything consistently. I guess the only real thing you could say is, like, grade school because that would be, I guess, nine years. But even that gets broken up into, like, elementary and junior high and all that. So I don't even know where all that lines up. I just know that as far as something that I've chosen to do and committed to, this is actually, like, the longest I've ever stuck to anything. And I guess it makes sense that it's something that I love doing and have grown to love even some of the less fun parts, specifically editing. It's funny, I really love uh, editing the real-life hunting videos. Maybe there's, there's something different about that than editing, like, the gameplay. 
That's not to say I don't love editing the gameplay. Like I said, I've kind of grown to love it, and there's always different things you can do with stuff and make out of the the content that you record, and I like that. But even, like, the monotonous stuff, I don't know. Same thing about with YouTube, I guess. It's done so much for me that I have to love it, whether I, whether I like to or not, I think. But just try to not mess up anything. I want to hopefully at least wait till that one buck comes in. Then we'll run around and claim everything. But I kind of love that we still do this video from this same spot. Like I said, there is one year that I did on Valdebon. It was actually my second year. So it hadn't actually been a tradition for me to break just yet at that point. But I don't know. There's something special for me about coming back here and doing it again. The fifth time. Fourth time from this tree. Fifth time that I've done a, like, yearly milestone. And I, I know I've talked about this in these videos in the past as well. I hope that I've, like, made actual, like, legitimate positive changes, like, with my content and everything. I feel as though I have. Like, I really can't even watch most of my content prior to last year. Because it's just, like, so cringy, and it's kind of funny. There's a name for this, and I can't remember exactly what it's called. But it's kind of this thing where I started off way too... I don't know what the proper word is necessarily. Dry, I guess. Where I didn't let any of my personality show through, and I was just, like, very, very quiet and serious. And then I kind of took it too far, whereas where most of the stuff that I'm talking about that I kind of cringe at happened where I was trying to be I don't know over the top to to a degree where I don't know I was trying to be too entertaining I, th I think that's the best way for me to put that but I've kind of slowly gone back and forth on that path and kind of gotten closer to the center where it's just me and I like that it's <laughs> finally kind of getting to that. I think mainly it took about four years completely. But even from early 2019 to now, I think there's a little bit more of that kind of happening. And I think that's good as well. But I know just for sure from everything that's come from becoming a content creator and making it my job and all this stuff, the people that I've met through doing this I've met so many amazing people and I guess what I'm saying met it's mainly not in person though some have been and there's more uh, planned in the future but people that I've met like specifically just online I've met some of the most amazing people my best friends and I wouldn't trade any of that for the world like there's a saying that everything happens for a reason and I don't know if that's true I don't even know for sure that I completely believe that. I think I do. But one of the the things that I try to think of when it comes to the idea of everything happens to a reason is, or for a reason, is a lot of negative stuff goes on in everybody's life. And there was plenty of negatives that, you know, were going on for me where I was going through a lot of depression. I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. I was so lost before I really, like, got going with YouTube. And in the moment, those negatives really are difficult and they suck and you want to get rid of them and you don't want it to be going on anymore. But I know like when I'm going through harder times now, that's something I try to remember is, you know, really good things can come out of that kind of stuff. And a lot of times, I don't know why I feel the need to tell you guys this, but a lot of times... I sort of plan stuff out that I'm going to say. This is completely unplanned. It just hit me randomly. But I, I really believe that. Like, when negative stuff's going on and you don't really want to be going through it and you just wish it would be over, I think one of the best mindsets you can kind of take with it is get through it, look for the window that's going to open because of it. Look for the opportunity that 
presents itself because of whatever situation you're going through now and take advantage of that because I really think it took me hitting rock bottom as far as like where I was in life with college and everything and as I mentioned like going through depression it took all that for me to take the risk of dropping out of college which, which was to some degree a safety net and kind of diving headfirst into YouTube because I had nothing else that I could really go for. And that's another thing, you know, when you're really feeling down, sometimes that's, you need to get to that point to make that positive change in your life. And I think that's something uh, worth saying as well, because that's, it, it rang true for me, that's for certain. And yeah, that was not something I planned on talking about during the course of this video, but it randomly hit me and I really just genuinely believe that and I think especially with the whole craziness that's going on in the world right now it might not be a bad thing to be heard someone out there probably needs to hear those kinds of things so hopefully that's helpful to somebody but like for real if it wasn't for all the struggles in high school and even into college and all the negative that I felt trying to get through that in the depression pretty good chance that I'm not here doing this right now because I would have ended up deciding on whatever other path to follow but it that uh what do I want to call it darkness I guess maybe it kind of in some ways left me with no choice or at least made me feel that way and that can be a bad thing but it also can certainly be a good thing but I think on that note if I could get a less weird looking trophy shot we are gonna be wrapping this up five years on YouTube like I said that's a really long time to do anything and I'm just so glad that I've gotten to be able to do this and as I said the people that I've met along the way the friends that I've made and all that I wouldn't trade it for the world and I'm just I'm really really lucky privileged whatever you want to call it to be in this position and again I'm so grateful for everything that you guys and everybody's done for me. It really, as I said, it has changed my life and it's made just the biggest difference. I don't know if you guys can even fully grasp it, but yeah. We're gonna completely do this in the style of the old videos where I take the trophy shot after completing the outro. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.